Welcome to Parents League Presents. I'm Gina Mallon, Executive Director of the Parents League of New York, and I'm here today with Lisa Tacky, our Senior Advisor, and we're going to talk about preschool decisions. So finally, notification period is here. So Lisa, when can parents expect to receive notification about the decisions from the schools? Families should expect to hear from the schools they've applied to on Thursday, March 1st. The notifications will come in throughout the day. Most will be via email, although some schools may still send them out snail mail. But the vast majority of schools do send them via email. They don't all come out at the same time of day, so be sure to check your email frequently and also be sure to check your spam mm -hmm. and junk folders mm -hmm. because oftentimes they will be sitting in there. And what if a family hasn't heard on Thursday? What should they do? Should they call the school? If a family hasn't heard, I would say by Friday morning, that may be a good time to give a school a call because most decisions should have gone out by then. And if it's not in your spam and not in your junk, then you should absolutely call the school. Families shouldn't be afraid to make the phone call. Schools want to make sure that families have all of the information while they're making decisions. Okay. And um, what outcomes can they expect in their decision letter? Most families will have two outcomes. One is an acceptance, and the other is the wait list. Um, there are very few schools that send out rejections, although some still do. So for most families, their responses are going to be an acceptance or a wait list. Okay. And what is the wait list, and how should a, a family manage the wait list? A wait list means we really loved your family and loved your child, but we just don't have a spot for them right now that can certainly change over the course of the notification period. So what you should do is follow the instructions that the school included with your letter. Sometimes it's a phone call, sometimes it's filling out a form online. And you should reach out to the school fairly periodically, not every hour, but every few days maybe, and check in with them, see if the wait list moves. As the week progresses, schools tend to give families more information and families should just be patient mm -hmm. and realize that they really are trying to find a spot for you and it's okay to reiterate interest, but don't call too much. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what if a family receives multiple acceptances? How do they manage that? So for most families, what they'll do is take a day or two to consider their options. Of course, we'll be here at the Parents League manning phones helping families talk through decisions and different scenarios, but if there's a school you know you are likely not going to attend, please give up that spot. Um, you can call or email the school, let them know that you made other plans for the year, and politely decline. It will make someone on their wait list incredibly happy. Um, and the same goes for the wait list. If you're waitlisted at a school and you're probably not going to attend or don't have any interest on in staying on the wait list, you can call the school or email the school and let them know that you've made other plans and you do not wish to be considered for the wait list. Well, thank you so much, Lisa. If you have any questions, please call the Parents League, become a member, go to our website, parentsleague.org, and we want to wish all of you the best of luck as you make a decision about preschool for your child.